Warning, here I am performing a necropsy or dissection on a corn snake. Viewer discretion advised. I start by making an incision through the scales all the way down the ventral aspect of the snake. It's important to not cut too deep or you risk puncturing the organs beneath. I'm suspicious that this snake passed away due to reproductive disease as I could feel developed eggs in her coelom or body cavity. As I opened her up, my suspicions were confirmed. I remove the skin as some owners wish to keep it along with an articulated skeleton instead of cremated ashes. Some might find it weird, but I personally find it to be a beautiful alternative to memorialize pet snakes. First you see the trachea and lungs, and then comes the heart. Snakes actually have a three-chambered heart. Then you have the liver with the esophagus running alongside that then turns into the GI tract. That green organ right there is the gallbladder. Here we have some fatty tissue, some more GI tract the kidneys, what's left of the reproductive tract, and then the vent. And here's the moment you've been waiting for, me opening up the eggs. As you can see, there's nothing inside and they are slugs or unfertilized eggs.